I wanted to know what the uh, thought is on the balance of uh, JOCO sponsored events and the shadow events, how you find the, uh, the median. Uh, I mean, I, well, we, we allow every, every person who signed up for a shadow event you know, gets a, a time and space. Um, similarly, you know, our, our sponsors will want to throw certain events and we try, you know, it's not really a matter of having to pick and choose. It's mostly a matter of just finding where things go once they've been sent in. But we, you know, I don't think we've, I hope we, we haven't turned down any requests for a shadow event other than for potential, like, you know, we can't support it technically because you want, you know, fireworks or something. <laughs> um, and really, is the, the spots, we, we list them as a sponsor's event, but they're basically shadow events that we just call out that, hey, this is one of our sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. And did you mean sponsor events, or you said Joko sponsor events? Did you mean like official like, Joko cruise events as opposed to shadow? The, the, the balance of, say, main stage events. Oh, oh yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, um, that, that is, it is a bit of a tough juggling act. At least I like to make these guys think it is so that I can keep my position in this organization. Um, but yeah, I, I, mostly I work outward from you know, on basically every C day and on one or two of the port days, depending on the timing, there will be the main shows. Those are kind of set in stone, the times for those. We'll have a rough idea of some of the evening events. Like we knew we had Gene Gray back, so we knew we wanted to do Church of Infinite U again and things like that. Um, and then, you know, so we know that'll probably be in the evening sometimes. So we try, as a general rule, we try to put most of the shadow events earlier in the day and things like panels or readings earlier in the day and later in the evening the slightly more communal experiences like church and the Disney sing-along and things like that um, and, and I try not to put too many things up against each other uh, when we can help it obviously there's no way around it given that we have 25 hours worth of events happening over a seven day I mean 25 days worth of events happening over a seven day period but it's just sort of, you know, it's a lot of, I, I still do the initial main schedule off of uh, eight, 11 by 17 laminated sheets of each, seven of them, and pieces of paper because there's no, you know, my, my computer screen isn't big enough and I like to be able to sort of see everything in relation to itself. So I take over my uh, dining room table for a few weeks trying to sort of get the initial map out. And once I have those, you just start filling in the blanks so with the other So you're telling us we're actually all cruising on your dining room table. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> 